on the bus and, and being backstage and putting on your makeup and, and, and it was all done very, very professionally. It was great. Ruth and Muriel go back to the very beginning. Ruth taught Muriel her first ballet class. Ruth had suffered a foot injury, uh, was not able to do any dancing. She was doing her teacher training at the Royal Academy of Dancing in London. So she couldn't dance anymore, but she came back to Edmonton and started a company, which is great. So her love of dance led to her starting a ballet company. When they toured, people wanted to help so much they thought, well, dance, it needs to have a shiny, slippery floor. So they buffed it and polished it up, and of course then she came and poured Coca-Cola all over the floor which, to make it sticky. That happened often in those days, before we were able to tour with our own flooring. When you realize how many thousands of people have sacrificed for the, this company's growth, and then you look at the founders, Muriel Taylor and Ruth Kars, and their dream, which started in the basement in Edmonton and now is touring around the world, uh, that's an extraordinary achievement for all of us. And so I think in that way, you feel that you're very privileged to be directing a company during its 50th because you celebrate the future and the past and you want to honor something that's vital in our society and that's why we all believe in it and sacrifice for it. I think the fans love this company so much. I think going back to talking about family and um, we have a really good connection with a lot of our sponsors. Now being you know, a senior member of the company and have been here starting, I think this is my 15th season now. Um, it's, it's such a special thing to be in the company that you grew up watching. These two women were extraordinary, uh, resilient and inspired ladies who brought an art form from the castles of France to the prairies of Alberta and believed that somehow it would touch people. And here we are 50 years later and how right they were. So it was important that I understood all the past artistic directors and what they brought to the company. Bryden Page, who pushed this company into the future from Ruth, you know, and that's one of the hardest moments is to get that momentum going from inertia. 